In this first Descendant video, we check out the latest and greatest surrounding the game. Now, to be honest, there isn't much new info out there as of right now. With the game falling in popularity, with players just leaving, taking a break, or just burnt out, Nexon, in my opinion, need to do something drastic to regain their attention. Question is, do they have something planned? Well, guys, they might just. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, consider leaving a like and comment down below. Also, subscribe if you want to see more. Liking, commenting, and subbing will enter you into my weekly giveaway of an ultimate descendant. More details at the end of the video. So, the game is losing players on a daily basis. Now, this is to be expected. Uh, well, you would have thought of it as it's just been out for a while now. But it seems more and more on a daily basis I just start playing this game. Now I for one really understand much of the reasoning behind why the player count is low at the moment. It has a lot to do with the boring gameplay loop the first descendant has, which in my opinion is what Nexon need to work on most. How many of you are sick and tired of levelling up to a level 40, whether that be a descendant or weapon, applying that catalyst, resetting, levelling back up, on repeat, over and over and over. It's a boring gameplay loop because for one, it's literally the basis of what everyone has to do to progress and get stronger, which yeah, I guess that's fine. I mean, yes, resetting and levelling up ain't too bad. Many players, including myself, ain't fussed about the fact we have to grind upon resetting to become even more powerful. I feel it's the option to actually level up with other boring parts of which the players are sick and tired of. My gameplay experience so far is farm, 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 farm. Yeah, I enjoy that. I enjoy the grind. What I don't really enjoy though is the fact that leveling and doing it efficiently consists of us standing in that bunny cave shooting endless spawns of enemies. Doing this over and over and over again to progress is tiring. It's burning players out and it's one of the main reasons people are leaving. This kind of gameplay loop quickly gets stale. It's boring, it's boring because it's limited. It's limited because the options available have been put in place to make content stretch out. The whole basis of the first descendant is to entice players to spend money. And although I have no real issue with that, we all knew Nexon's background before we started playing, but I feel now it's having an effect on the game, a true effect on the game. I feel there's only so much players wanna do. There's only so much players can do of the same thing before it gets really boring. And I'm just talking about the leveling factor here. I feel the grind for other things in regards to patterns, weapons, descendants and so forth are completely fine. I don't mind that grind whatsoever. It's just a mind numbing leveling system requirements and it's a system I feel could be worked upon quite easily. It wouldn't take much to offer players equal amounts of XP, but within other activities where there's other things there to work towards. The XP system in this game is what's flawed in my opinion, and you can see this because everyone's just going back to a bunny cave, shooting endless enemies to level up. And with leveling in the game basically being the main way of progressing, the fact the best way of doing this is to shoot endless enemies in a cave in a game as big as this is the deciding factor for many many people. I mean an XP rework by Nexon wouldn't take much and I feel it's something that definitely needs to be done. So do Nexon have something new to offer? Well I can't say for certain that they do but the Xbox games come live stream from August 21st to August 23rd. On the 23rd we are seeing something new from the first descendant. What this is, I have absolutely no idea. It could be a preview into next season. It could be something entirely different. But I'm sure we will all tune in. But if you do miss it, as you just know, I will have you covered right here on my channel. Now, on the basis of burning out, I hopped onto Reddit to see what was up, to see what other people thought. And man, oh man, I wish I hadn't. People over there are so damn toxic. It is unreal. I mean, not everybody over there. But the majority are just these kind of people with the elitist type wannabe mentalities. It's just super cringe. 
I saw one post of a guy saying he wanted to chin me. I mean, I haven't laughed so much in months. He wanted to chin me because, I don't know, I make pretty thumbnails which entice players in because he said I clickbaited somehow. And I mean, compared to other content creators here, I think I'm pretty tame. Jeez. I saw another post of a guy basically taking a mick out of plenty of content creators. One guy in the comment there said I make great content, it's just my speech impediment which puts him off. Which is new to me. I knew I had a weird fucked up accent that basement dwellers just can't make sense of. But I guess not, I've just gone I guess 35 years in life not realising I have a speech impediment. Oh dear. I saw another post which had like 200 upvotes with countless comments on it saying and linking my channel's videos stating I was stealing content from Easy Now 1337. One guy even went to the effort of dissecting a video stating how I'd stolen Easy Now's video from his channel, edited the first 20 seconds with different audio and uploaded it to mine. How he managed to miss the fact that the audio he's talking about that was cut the first 20 seconds was in fact easy now stating that he was covering and uploading videos to my channel while I was away for 5 days. I mean people it literally boggles my brain cells. But yeah that's what you have to deal with with 90% of people over on reddit. I say 90% because like 10% of people over there actually make great points, ain't toxic and genuinely grasp life outside of games. Which guys actually brings me to a couple of other posts I do want to add because I feel they deserve your eyes. Now I absolutely am not going to turn into one of these content creators who gets their video content from reddit spouting out nonsense while reading reddit posts like it's the latest and greatest news. That ain't me. I mean yes it works for some, open world games does great off this. Hey, you do you, who am I to judge? But a couple of posts I saw do indeed deserve your eyes. So I saw this post by uh, Javazan, I believe that's pronounced, titled Guess I'm done farming Valby Reactors. Which I will state this is an impressive reactor, that is for sure. And it reminded me of something I meant to share with you guys outside of a community post I made of this eternal willpower. I got this drop as it is, I haven't rolled this whatsoever and I mean I don't think I've ever been so lucky in this game. This is probably the luckiest drop I have ever had. I mean what do you think? Let me know down below. When I saw this I was like ain't no way. Now if I had materials I'd probably try and roll that fire attack but what are the odds of me getting something useful there? Is it worth it guys? Let me know what you think. Also let me know if you've been this lucky. I mean you can always share clips with me if you have them saved via my discord link down below. We can do a top 5 luckiest loot drops, jeez, that takes me back to the good old destiny one days. Now another post of someone getting lucky is Zanma Tomato I believe that's pronounced. Check out his enduring legacy, I mean I doubt he's watching but I think I'd keep this instead of trying to reroll it again. The fire attack isn't the worst you can get here uh, but what are the odds of you getting something worse and just wasting your materials? what do you guys think? The next clip guys will pull on them heartstrings. While he wanted a blue beetle material, he didn't get it. What he did get was absolutely wild. Credit to Balrog Borg for this one. Such a crazy clip. Now lastly on the reddit post and this isn't to do with loot drops, it's to do with that scubbiness. And well I knew this would eventually happen. People are asking for money for carries, it's like trials of Osiris all over again and I know people made some bank off that. Now I hate this kind of thing I won't lie and I'd love to be able to offer you my services for absolutely free, I just do not have the time. But guys if you do hate this kind of thing too and would like to help other people out for free, head over to my discord, hit me up and I'll sort you out an exclusive role for helping players. And well if you're in need of help, come join too, someone might be there just needing your help. My discord is linked down below. People, 
But there we have it. I actually wanted to make a short but sweet video just talking about Gamescom. But hey, the video has gone out to almost 10 minutes now. But before we do end, do thank you for the great support I've had on my videos besides those Reddit posts. I'm giving away Ultimate Descendants to you guys or the equivalent in that calibre. And as you guys know, my giveaways are actually real unlike some. So I will pick one person on a weekly basis who supports what I do by liking, commenting and subbing to my videos. The more I see you, the more of a chance you have of winning. Winners will be picked and announced at the end of the week. So good luck, everybody. But there we have it, guys. If you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.